Tim here, TOD Adventure. So far, everyone's all Walter. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. We're going to have mostly a crawling video here today. Just something I kind of wanted to do. Um, the last couple of videos um, that we had was with the new Red Cat Ascent and with the new Vanquish VRD Carbon. On the bench is the Axial SCX10 Pro. So when I was out, I was like, you know what? I think it would be good just to try to pick like the same little loop line area at air cap and run each of the three trucks that are kind of in their own little class you know it's a crazy time in our tiny rc community you know the performance lcg side of the um rc world is really just kind of booming we have manufacturers coming out with performance-based kits and i mean uh the already present aftermarket chassis companies are out there just pushing stuff out tons of great stuff innovation everything else like that so I was like, you know what, I think it'd be cool to just kind of have these three just kind of in their own, they're in their own category, and just take them through the air cap. It's not, not like an in-depth comparison video or something like that. Between the three, if it was, I would have had gates where each one could have like chosen and picked a line. So maybe that might be a future video, but I was out and about. I was like, you know what, I have all three of them. Let's just run them all in just a simple loop through air cap. So real quick before all that gets started, just real quick again. So again, the Axo S610 Pro. Now mine is beyond far from stock. We've seen the videos on mine. Um, it's setting on brazen A setter chassis. I have different transmission in here, um, different shocks. I have a lot more upgrades and performance built into this. Um, and it is setting on a custom hard body and everything else like that. So this does have a lot in it, and I do have a lot more drive time with the 10 Pro versus the other two, both the VRD um, and the Red Cat Ascent. Um, this video this was during their maiden voyage, so I'm still getting used to the trucks, but I just wanted to uh, take them out and put them to their paces. Also, one thing that I believe is actually the most different between the three, the Pro is on my Noble, and I do have a phone mount on my Noble, so I can drive and have my camera right here. The others are still on their stock controllers respectively, and I did not or do not have phone mounts. So I'm recording, trying to use a gimbal with one hand and steering this way. That's a lot harder than it looks. Um, I don't know how people do that on a regular basis and make it look so good. I gave it a valiant effort. I still had fun. So again, nothing too crazy. I wouldn't take, you know, which one can do which too seriously. In this video, I was just kind of going around through it, having a little fun and getting used to two uh, new trucks, basically, for the most part. There are some crashes, there are some oopses, there are some O's, but um, I still think it's pretty fun. So maybe, um, probably the next video, I will go through each one and kind of um, go over pros and cons of each one. And then maybe we can do like a more true comparison before I get too crazy with the other two and actually, or wait till the other two get some respective mods um, like the pro did and then put them on a course and kind of see what happens. So, so in the meantime, uh, Hope you enjoy some crawling video. So everyone have a great one, crawl on.